Hello guys Infinity Nerd here. This is my prediction for March 2021. I hope you will like it. So for ban cards I have only one card and of course it is true king of all calamities or very fun dragon. This card definitely should be banned because it shuts down all monster effects which is crucial in today's game. This card is not fun at all. This is a direct hit to the virtual world strategy because they can make two with ease. Also with the release of Baraton, a new rank 9 Ziz monster, I feel this card will get banned. Also Virtual World is a very fun and flexible deck and with Calamities gone, the deck would start to play some other level 9 synchros like Gotham's and not be just I have a lot of limited cards and those are Cursed Heldland, Cyber Angel Ben 10, Fossil Dig, Engage, Harp Horror and Electromite. First one is Cursed Heldland. This is a consistency hit to the Eldritch strategy. I was thinking between Cursed Eldland and Sanguine but I feel that they would go for the consistency then we have Cyber Angel Ben 10 to 1. This is a direct hit to Dreatrons. I was thinking on not hitting this card because the deck is still new and also because of the new Ziz monster that got released in Japan. But being able to search 3 or 4 times in a single turn is not okay. This hit will not kill the deck but it will check it as they would have to recover it from the graveyard to use her effect again next one is Fossil Dig. I was thinking between Miscellaneous and Dig and I think this is a correct hit to Dinosaurs. Miscellaneous gives protection but only during the main phase so during this format where there are a lot of traps, they just destroy or banish Ultimate Conductor during the battle phase. Now, Engage is my personal wish, but to be honest, Engage to 1 would do nothing except give a little consistency boost to Sky Strikers. I am aware it will never be at 3 because of the splash ability and drawing Engage of Engage is insane but at 1 is totally fine. Harp Horror is fine to come back to 1. Gursu was such a flop. I think at 1 it would be fine. Yes, they can recycle it but they are vulnerable to graveyard disruption. I would like to see Magical Meltdown also hit to 1. This splashable engine has been alive for way too long and a hit to Meltdown would check the engine. With the release of new Metal Foes cards and Blazing Vortex, like they did with Rusty Bardish, they will bring back Electromite. Pendulums are not that good at the moment and with Electromite back to 1, Pendulums will get a consistency boost but will not be busted. There is also a new Pendulum archetype announced so bringing I Electrum to 1 would be logical for semi-limited I only have Nadir Servant. This card is an immediate plus 2 and that is really good. It searches Ecclesia that can search a Dogmatica card as well. I feel Dogmatica is really a too good of a splashable engine and I would like to see a hit to their consistency. First card going to 3 is Infinity Archfiend. First of all, this card should have never been hit. Yeah, Infinity won Worlds in 2014 and that was the reason why it got hit. The card is still good but the Infinity strategy is not good anymore because now in modern meta there are a lot of floodgates, negates, hand traps especially Nibiru which wrecks Infinity. Next card to 3 is Digast Omeril. So Omeril was banned in September 2017 after Zoo got hit too. Now, with the release of Zeus and Dradent being back to 1. Zoo is back to relevance. Now Zoo doesn't even use Emerald. That just shows that the card is not that good and not even worth playing in a deck that got it banned. There won't be loops where you loop two Emeralds, that is too inconsistent. Next card is Max C. So Max C is controversial one but I think it should come back. It is really there to punish those combo decks that just use their entire hand to make an unbreakable board. For True King's return is logical it will come back to 3, they brought it back to 2 previous lists so it's obvious they will bring it back to 3. True Draco are not consistent with 1 Diagram and 1 Demise. What is your prediction on the March 2021 ban list? Leave in the comments down below, I'm curious to see your predictions. Expect more Infinity Innovation soon and I will see you next time. Bye.